Hello, you're looking at my wheelbarrow and I've got it turned upside down at the moment. And I've got it turned upside down because the wheel is flat and I'm going to share with you today how I replace the inner tube on this barrow. So firstly, it's just a matter of removing those uh, two bolts there on the left hand side. Yes, wind off the, I've loosened the nuts now and I'm just going to wind off the the uh, two, uh, two bolts. Just make sure you hang on to everything as it comes off and don't lose them. Of course you'll need those to replace them when you put the wheel back on. Once you've replaced the inner tube, so slide off that uh, bracket. Put them in a container such as that so you don't lose any of those uh, pieces. And then just slide that uh, axle out and the wheel comes off. You don't, don't need to remove the bracket on the other side. Just one bracket is enough. Hang on to the axle and we're going to show you how to remove uh, the inner tube and replace it with a new one. Okay, working on a flat surface. Um, these are my bicycle inner tube uh, levers to replace a tube on a bicycle, but they're just, they don't have enough leverage to get the the tire off so today i'm going to use um, a few of my big screwdrivers you need at least two three big screwdrivers is preferable and i've got out four just in case and just uh, push them so push them in and uh, just carefully that you don't uh, sort of pinch the inner tube and just go around and do the next section and just sort of Carefully uh, lift, lever the uh, the uh, the tire over the over the uh, the rim, the metal rim. So I'm doing this on the valve side. You can see the valve is there, so that will make it slightly easier to get the inner tube out. Really kind of fiddly, but just keep going around, and eventually you will get there. That's it. And just hold the two in there. And then you put a third one in and hold the third one in and take out the middle one and do it around and around the inner tube and eventually eventually it'll it'll start to uh, and you'll start to lift the whole tire over the rim okay there we go one half of the tire is now off the rim okay so now I've got the uh, one half of the rim of the tire then it's just a matter of pushing quite uh, with a fair bit of force pushing that uh, tire um, forward and pulling the rim towards you and then the tire there it goes the tire um, quite easily comes off the um, the rim there we go, there's the rim and you've still got the inner tube inside and then you can just uh, remove remove the inner tube from the tyre and start to replace it with the new inner tube. Okay, so there's the new inner tube, it comes uh, quite flat. So what I'll do with that, I'll get, the, uh, I'll get my pump, my uh, bike pump there and I'll put just a little bit of air into that uh, inner tube just to give it a bit of shape. Not too much, just, just a little bit of air. Okay, connect on the valve. And connect onto the valve, push up the lever, and this is gonna start uh, pumping. There we go, this is just enough air to give the, the tube a bit of uh, shape to it. Now with the, the rim there, with the, the hole for the valve pointing upwards, it's just a matter of um, pushing uh, the tire using your uh, screwdrivers, just pushing it half uh, half on to the rim. So just one side of the tire is is uh, on the rim. It's getting there. When you do it, you just don't think it'll ever go on the rim, but eventually, eventually you get there. Ah, oh, there we go. Here we go, one half of the tire 
is now on the rim. And now get the inner tube, line up the valve with the, uh, with the valve hole and push that inner tube inside the tire. This is the new inner tube, of course. Okay, then, so once the, um, the tube's inside the tire, just find your valve and feed that through that little valve hole in the rim. There's the valve coming through the valve hole. And then what we need to do now is to push that, um, push the tire, that uh, second half of the tire back inside the rim. So I might take a bit of force there to push half it in at least, and then get your uh, screwdrivers. Now you've got to be very, very careful that you don't pinch your inner tube when you do this. So just put the end of the screwdriver just over the rim just enough over the rim just to get a bit of leverage and push the tire back into place. And a bit of force and there we go. There we go, so there's the uh, tires back on the rim, the inner new inner tubes inside the tire. And now all we need to do is um, just pump it up and uh, there it is, pump it up to, I think on the side of the uh, the tire, it says pump to 30 PSI. Connect uh, the, the pump to the valve, push up the lever to lock it in place and start pumping. Okay, so this uh, pump's got an inbuilt pressure gauge and I pumped that up to 30 PSI. And there I go, I'll remove the, the pump from the valve and there we go the tire is rock hard and ready to be replaced back onto the barrow okay slide the axle through the rim into the bracket on the right hand side and push it as far as it can go and then get the other bracket and slide that over the axle and then just get your bolts your two bolts that you removed earlier and replace those uh, two bolts. There we go, the first bolt's going in. There's a washer, there's a spring washer, and there's a, um, there goes on the nut. Just uh, finger tighten that for the moment. Do the same on the other, for the other bolt. Okay, tighten those uh, nuts up. Okay, tighten up the, the final nut, and spin the tire. And all looks pretty good. I'll just remove that shifter now. There we go, it's off. And then spin over your barrow and your barrow uh, inner tube has been replaced. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.